Now that we've seen the demand curve and the supply curve of labor, let's go ahead and look at our labor market equilibrium. So what we have is we have a downward sloping demand for labor, and we have an upward sloping supply of labor curve. What this classical model tells us, remember we're looking at the relationship between the real wage and the labor hours worked. What this is telling us is there is a single wage here, we'll we call this W star, there's a single wage that clears the market. Okay, so this right here, we would say it's going to clear the labor market. So in classical theory, right, this wage is going to be flexible and it's always going to clear the labor market. And as a refresher, the term when I'm clearing it, it just means that the labor, the amount of labor that's demanded is going to equal the amount of labor that's supplied. So there's going to be no shortage. There's going to be no surplus. That's what we mean when we say we have a market clearing price. In this case, it's a market clearing wage because we're looking at a labor market. So when this happens, right, when we have this labor demand equaling to labor supply getting us this L star, this L star is going to be what we call the full employment level of employment. This is when the market is in equilibrium and we see that full employment level.